Hmm, a shotgun with an iconic effect that reduces the spread and it fires 20 pellets at once. That seems a little bit broken. Let's break this weapon in today's cyberpunk video. I'll be showing you how to obtain Judy's iconic shotgun weapon in cyberpunk 2077 the Mox shotgun. You can do over 120,000 damage with this shotgun and I'll be showing you guys where to get it as well and how to build your character so you can do that yourself. Honestly, the build I've come up with for this shotgun is the funnest thing ever because it feels like you're playing Doom. You literally run around super fast and you do more damage based on how fast you're moving as well. So it's hilarious to use. However, it is definitely not the best shotgun in the game, but it does do enough damage to one hit kill everything in the game, so I guess that's not really a problem. At that point, I guess it's like, how cool do you think the shotgun looks? Pretty cool, right? You know what else would be pretty cool though, guys? Because half you watching my videos aren't actually subscribed yet. If you guys enjoy my content, please go ahead and subscribe. But the most important thing about this weapon is that it's one of the collectible iconic weapons that will show visually in your weapon room once you put it inside. And I'll be honest with you guys, this weapon is annoying to get. And it's different if you're playing male V or female V, as I'll explain right now. So to get Judy's shotgun for yourself, you must first finish all of Judy's side quests, which takes a while. Judy's side quests become available after the main quest, Automatic Love, where you save Evelyn and you take her back to Judy's apartment. A few days later after this quest, Judy will call you and give you a new quest called Both Sides Now. After you finish that quest, she will call you up again and you'll have to do the side quest called X Factor. Once again, for Judy. And then after you finish that, you'll get this side quest called Talking About a Revolution, which is a conversation that takes place in her apartment. After that quest, you'll get a quest called Pisces. And then finally, you will get the last quest called Pyramid Song, where you can finally romance Judy and she will give you the keys to her apartment as well which is where you'll need to go to pick up this iconic shotgun for yourself. Come here to Watson, where you're going to find Judy's apartment, specifically in this area of Kabuki. She's going to be just by the coast, over here at the Charter Street fast travel point, in case you've forgotten. I feel like you have to come back to this fast travel point so many times. But yeah, starting from the Charter Street fast travel point, Judy's apartment is just over there in the distance. So now you're going to go ahead inside. Now there's a slight change here. If you are playing on male V, you can actually claim the shotgun immediately. If you're playing on female V though, you'll have to do some extra steps. So firstly, go ahead and open Judy's apartment. And this is the Mox iconic shotgun it starts off at rare quality and we'll go over how good it is in a moment because to be honest it's kind of a very confused weapon in my opinion but if you come here as female v this weapon will not spawn for you yet so to get the weapon to spawn you need to head out and wait 24 hours and eventually you'll start getting text messages from judy every few days she'll send you a new message it doesn't matter what you reply just make sure that you stay in touch with her and respond and then wait another 24 hours until she messages you again and do the same thing eventually she will tell you that she has a gif waiting in her apartment on the kitchen counter at this point if you come back to her apartment the shotgun will be waiting for you to pick up now if you get confused about judy's questline i already did a full time stamped walkthrough linked below with all the dialogue choices if you want to follow it. Now obviously the Mox shotgun starts off at rare quality so you want to upgrade it to legendary quality however very very important before you do so. Start out by upgrading it to epic quality and then before you upgrade it to legendary quality what you're going to want to do is exit out, save the game, make a new save and then go back into your inventory because what happens is every time you craft a weapon, it will get a random effect applied to it. The thermal damage, crit damage, bonus ricochet damage, burn chance, or headshot damage. So now let's go ahead and craft it to legendary quality. After you've crafted it, go to your inventory and check what the weapon has. So we didn't get what we want, so we're going to go ahead and reload our save and do this again. 
Now a little trick you can also do instead of reloading is if you keep clicking the weapon you'll see the DPS will actually change. So just carry on clicking it until the DPS changes to its maximum which right now for me is its base of 959. So go ahead and craft that. We can see the weapon has a headshot damage multiplier of three times, which is pretty damn good. And by the way, if you get the weapon earlier than level 50, you can actually carry on upgrading it until the weapon reaches its max damage per second. Now the weapon is legendary quality though, we have four mod slots. So the next thing we need to do is go to Watson and we want to go to, well you can go to any gun shop really, but we're going to be going to this one, the weapon shop, which is right next to V's apartment just here. You can go to any weapon shop to actually use this technique though, but essentially you just want to run in here and we're going to look to buy a specific weapon mod checking uh so you either want to buy the crafting spec for crunch or the crunch mod itself i recommend getting the crafting spec though for what i'm about to show you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and buy that now if he's not selling it what you need to do is run away from the store they need to skip time 24 hours to refresh his inventory and now i'm going to show you how to craft the crunch mods but in the technical ability skill tree you're going to see two perks which you need true craftsman allows you to craft rare items and grease monkey allows you to craft epic items currently legendary items are not working for this also if you get x nilo it gives you a 20% chance to craft another item for free, which is cost effective with resources, but you do not require it for this method. So now we're going to be going to our crafting tab. We're going to click on attachments and mods, and we're going to start crafting ourselves the crunch mod. So we're going to craft a bunch of these. Now, even though it says you're crafting a common version, it will actually craft you both common, rare, and epic mods which mean you can get free epic mods of the crunch perk instead of actually buying them for a very expensive price. So if I go ahead and look at my inventory and my weapon mods now, you can see I've got a bunch of epic crunch mods that do eight damage as opposed to seven. So as you guys can see, I have a full set of epic crunch mods equipped on the mock shotgun, and that actually increases each pellet that the shotgun fires by eight damage so in total each pellet is doing an additional 32 damage now if you have a closer look you can see we've in we've improved the damage per second of the shotgun to 2111 damage per second that's because each shot is now doing between 83 and 102 damage and each time you fire one round of this shotgun it's firing out 20 pellets meaning you are doing 20,000 damage if all of those pellets hit and obviously if they crit you also have a crit damage of 200% and you can get your crit chance to 100% through clothing mods which my character doesn't have any right now but let's say you have 100% crit chance and you hit all of your bullets you'll be doing 40,000 damage. And then if any of those shots hit their head, you times that by another three. So that's 120,000 damage. And we also haven't taken bonus ricochet damage into account either. But I mean, you killed everything in the game at that point anyway. I mean, you can fight, you can look at someone and anyone in the game dies at that point. So yeah, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077, everyone. So that is how you maximize the damage on the Mox shotgun. The next thing you're going to want to do is have a look at your character build. So shotguns are actually really simple. They have a few basic perks in Annihilation. And all of them are actually pretty good apart from Bloodbath, which makes dismembering enemies reduce weapon recoil by 50% for 6 seconds. I mean, this is literally useless. Like, why would you spend 20 points in that? No way. The most important perks to get are as follows. Pump it louder. Reduce recoil of shotguns and light machine guns by 20%. This is nice, definitely not essential though. Movement shift. Defeating an enemy increases movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. This sounds really not very good. But actually, it's very good because, because of the perk Speed Demon. You deal more damage the faster you're moving. 
And then we also have Manic. When entering combat, your movement speed increases by 20% for 10 seconds as well. And then Blood Rush. Increase movement speed in combat by 10% while carrying a shotgun. And then Biathlete. Weapon spread does not increase while moving, which you obviously really desperately want. And with that combination of perks, you will be moving stupidly fast and dealing additional damage because of that. Then we have the standard hail of bullets. Shotguns and light machine guns deal 10% more damage. And Mongoose. Increase evasion by 25% while reloading. And this gun does take a little bit of time to reload, so obviously this is very useful. Then we have Massacre. Increase crit damage with shotguns and light machine guns by 45%. Now each one of those pellets that you're firing at an enemy can critical hit. So that's how you really do achieve mega damage with shotguns. So obviously this is important. Then in your face. Reduces reload time of shotguns and light machine guns by 40%. Obviously extremely important, especially with the MOX shotgun specifically. Bulldozer. Increase crit chance with shotguns and light machine guns by another 10%. Unstoppable. Dismembering an enemy increases fire rate by 10% for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. I mean, by the time this is fully stacked, you'll, you'll have no ammo left anyway, but hey, it's very nice. Skeet Shooter. Deal 15% more damage to moving targets. Heavy Lead. Shotguns and light machine guns knock back enemies with more force. This is basically how you make enemies get pushed on the ground by your shotgun bullets and then they can't shoot you and other enemies will even fall over them. So it's actually a extremely useful skill for shotgun users. And dead center, increased damage to torso by 20%. Then we have popping off. Shotguns have a 50% chance of dismembering enemies, which is always fun. Hit the deck, increases damage to staggered and knockdown enemies by a further 20%. So anyone on the floor, if you shoot them again, you literally obliterate them. Burn Baby Burn, double the duration of burn effects, is really not required for the shotgun at all. Now do bear in mind, there are actually some perks in the athletic skill tree that will allow you to move even faster. Like allowing you to reload weapons while sprinting and vaulting is very helpful. Or multitasker allows you to shoot while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. And finally, in the engineering skill tree, there's actually this one perk called Play the Angels. Ricochet deals an additional 50% damage. Now, this won't come into effect too much because of the low spread that the mock shotgun has, but it is still a useful perk that affects the shotguns. And then also in the cool stealth skill tree, we have Assassin. Increase 15% more damage against human enemies. Obviously, you want this because it's just a flat... 15% damage against 99% of the enemies in the game. So that is the shotgun build, my friends. We are now fully kitted. Let me show it off to you guys. Oh, and if you guys want to get over 6,000 armor as well, make sure you check out my other video linked below on how to do that and get a full set of legendary nomad armor as well. That will pretty much make you invincible to boot. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, if you did find the video helpful, please do drop a like and subscribe with the bell icon for future cyberpunk and rpgs in general that's what this channel focuses on thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one